Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today we are setting up this Pebble watch right here with my iPhone 5 and we are going to get into this process here. As you can see on the Pebble watch, we have install and run Pebble app, which I do have already on the device. So we've cleared that step out of the way and we're going to go into the setup process. I'm going to show you a little bit about this device, but what you want to do here first is launch that Pebble app once you've installed it and tap on the little get started button there at the bottom and then we're going to pair the pebble with the phone so we're going to tap on start and it's going to have us select an accessory as you can see right there after you tap on the device in this little select accessory box you're going to need to tap on the pair button showing on the screen right there and that will complete the pairing between the pebble watch and your device now in my case i did have to update the software on the pebble this may very well be the case for you so if it is just let this update i'm going to kind of speed through this process though because it did take a little bit and once it's updated, you'll be ready to go to set up the notifications here. So Pebble allows you to receive notifications for texts and iMessages and phone calls, stuff like that. And you need to set it up first. So in order to do that, you're going to have to follow these steps. You can actually swipe through, follow the steps here. But I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to go into the settings app. And in Bluetooth settings, you want to tap on that little blue arrow next to the device and switch on show notifications. So once you've done that, back out of the Bluetooth devices and then go into notifications here and you want to make sure that your messages notifications are enabled to view on lock screen. So you want to make sure that's turned on right there and then you'll be all set up and ready to go. We can back out to the home screen and launch the Pebble app again. And as you can see here, we have this green check mark letting us know that we're done. Now we can enable caller ID. So tap on the enable button. It will request access to your contacts here and that's just to gather names and numbers so that when you get a call, it goes through right. But here, we can do a test SMS or a test phone call. So let me go ahead and show you how this looks here. When you do a test SMS, the watch will vibrate and you'll have this little pop-up notification on the watch face as you can see right there. And same thing with a phone call. It'll come through and the light will turn on. It'll start vibrating on your wrist. And you'll normally have a little answer button where you can answer at the top of this is just a demo. So you only have the X at the bottom. But this is how you do the test SMS and the test phone call. It'll give you a good idea of how it will look when you're actually using the device receiving phone calls and messages. And like I said, you'll be able to press that little X at the bottom using the side button or a phone call button at the top uh, once you're actually receiving real calls. But here we can install different watch apps and there's only some available here inside of the Pebble application. There's actually a lot more on different uh, third party Pebble websites and, and Pebble development sites. But as you can see, we have quite a few to choose from. I'm just going to go ahead and install one just for the sake of showing you how this works and it will download the watch face. After that's done, we can go into the Pebble menu here and toggle down to watch faces using the side button there. And then we can select the watch face that I just installed and it should be at the very bottom of the list. As you can see, there are 91 dub and we can select that. Now when we back out, we will be able to see that watch face as you see on the Pebble watch. It's pretty simple and you can also use the up and down buttons that are located on the right hand side to scroll between watch faces on the fly without having to go into the menu options. But this is the Pebble watch. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little demonstration. Here is me actually sending a text to this other phone here and you'll see how that pops up there with the notifications from the watch face as you can see here. Let me just wait until this uh, message goes through. Sometimes it takes a little bit. And there we go on the phone. And then there we go on the watch. And I'll send one more so you can see how you're able to scroll through the different notifications here. So almost instantly we have that notification come through and then we can use the down button or the up button to scroll through those. Now the down button is located on the right hand side of the watch as well as the up button. I guess it depends on which way you're wearing it. but. Uh, in this video here, you can see that we have the up and down button at the top and bottom of the device. And then the middle button would be the select button, which you can use to dismiss a notification. Or you can also use the back button on the left hand side. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little overview of setting up the Pebble watch. My first little experience with Pebble here. Stay tuned for many more videos to come on Pebble. It's a very interesting device. I 
really do like it and I have enjoyed it for the last couple of days. So go ahead and check out Pebble if you're interested. I'll leave a link down in the description for you. It's available for about $150. I got this one from Best Buy during a kind of a soft launch for Pebble in retail stores. You can actually order them inside of a Best Buy store and have it shipped to the store there for you or you can get it from getpebble.com. But check it out and let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave me a big old thumbs up as it does help out my channel a lot. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day.